Hey guys, it's Ross Lutman from Alternative Homes Today and I'm here with Dan from PPC Solar here in Taos, New Mexico. And unfortunately, about a month into my excursion, I'm a thousand miles from home, my solar panels, my flexible solar panels on the roof failed. And uh, these guys here at PPC Solar really hooked it up. I didn't have a ladder and uh, they let me uh, come back and install a roof rack here and help me put the panel, Dan here helped me put the panel on the roof. And uh, Dan, can you tell us a little bit about some of the differences between like the flexible panels versus these rigid panels? Well, the flexible panels are nice, obviously, because they're flexible, but the issue is with the flexibility, you lose some of the efficiency. We've also seen a ton of flexible panels fail in the field. Um, anywhere from, you know, the ones you have here to larger ones that have been developed for, you know, large systems where they were just like gluing it onto the roof and a lot of times the lamination would come apart or they'd fail for other reasons. And I think a lot of it's because of the flexibility that a lot of the connections get under stress mm. and the cells get under stress and I think that can ultimately affect the performance and reliability of the module. Okay. Um, you know, these the rigid modules, uh, they don't conform to the roof of the van as well. Obviously, we got to put this rack up to hold it. Um, but I think the longevity and the rigidity of it, you know, is going to definitely help you down the road. Okay. And um, I do want to point out, this was uh, about half the price per watt of the flexible panels. It said differently, the flexible panels per watt are twice as expensive as these rigid panels, which are better and are going to last a lot longer. And uh, these rigid panels, I put a roof rack because I wanted to, but these can be adhered directly to the roof, right, with RV mounts? Yeah, we have some low profile feet that we can bolt it directly to the roof, um, but then it requires penetration through the roof. Um, so it depends on you know what your application is. A van like this has the nice rain gutters on it. It makes it easy mm. to do a rack like this. So I think yeah. this is a great fit for this application. Yeah. Um, but you know, we do use RV feet that are real simple, but you do have to penetrate through your roof. And so, you know. It's kind of always iffy when yeah. you make those roof penetrations. You know, I, I do like the look with the roof rack because it, it gives it that work van look and it looks more like a normal uh, work van that a tradesman would have. And uh, you can kind of blend in when you, uh, for wherever you need to park. And uh, so, yeah, well, thanks, Dan. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Thank you, Ross. And, uh, it's been a pleasure. Sure. And uh, good luck on your adventure. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next time.